How's it going everyone? It's Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about controller assignments. We are going to be learning how to use a MIDI controller to control certain parameters and settings inside of plugins and also instruments here inside of Logic. And uh, we're going to be able to record all this information onto our track in real time and it's going to be a ball of fun. So first things first, let's just hear this track. This is going to be all Logic built um, presets etc. So this is what we're working with. Alright, so very, very preset um, style here. That's what we're going for. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. What we're going to be learning here is controller assignment. So first things first, we want to go to select Logic Pro 10 from the top left corner, go to control surfaces, and then select controller assignments. Now there are two views here, easy and expert view. We're going to be mainly sticking with easy view since I want to simplify this down into something that is understandable for everyone. But as you can see in the expert view, there's a lot more stuff going on. If you want to select, you can change all kinds of parameters and um, you know paths and it's just it, it can get out of control so we're going to be sticking with uh, something very simple simplistic here so but the only thing I'm going to do here in this expert view is go to select a new zone and since I'm going to be working with a key studio MIDI controller I'm going to select key studio controller I'm going to press enter and uh, so when I go back to easy view uh, all of the assignments that I'm creating are going to be automatically put into that particular zone that I just created. Uh, so let's get right into it. I want to be manipulating things with this swell instrument here. I'm going to open up the ES2 and as you can see let's just... I want to control that I want to control that cut with a certain dial on my controller. So what I'm going to do here is if you since I just selected that and I pressed learn, it will automatically be here. But you can go in through and select whatever you want, um, any dial, any option. Uh, it's all completely configurable, uh, which is kind of nice. And then so like I said, we're going to select this low pass filter cutoff. And then what I'm going to do is select learn, which it's already selected here and control the dial. Just 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 move any of the dials and I'll automatically learn it and map it. So now if I uh, deselect that and I manipulate my dial on my physical MIDI controller you can see that the cutoff inside of the ES2 is in fact being controlled by that dial which is pretty awesome right so we can do this on multiple parameters uh, if we want to learn something else we can select I don't know, let's do distortion and let's map it directly to the second dial. Alright, deselect that and now I can select this, the distortion level, and I can still manipulate the cutoff. Um, I have a button right below that dial, so let's learn something else. Let's do the distortion type and we can select that button and now if I press that button it will change between the hard and the soft distortion. And you can continue to do this on whatever you'd like. You can do this on multiple tracks, multiple instruments, um, and, and it's all it's all dandy, right? So one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, create a controller assignment for a low, um, a low, or sorry, a high cut. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing is selecting this frequency, uh, the frequency of this single EQ, and I'm going to be mapping it directly to this third dial. All right, and that, as you can see, is working there. So now, when I go and want to play this track, we are actually getting things controlled by our surface here, uh, which is exactly what we, want, what we want to do. Now, if we want to go and, say, record what we're actually doing here, we need to make sure that our track is set to touch mode. Uh, so what happens here is that when we manipulate these settings, it's going to be recording the automation onto our track for whatever we've been playing with. So if I wanted to so if I wanted to, say, uh, loop over this region, record something really quickly, and uh, I want to manipulate, say, I 
want to manipulate the cutoff there, uh, we can do that. So let's do that right now. Uh, well, first off, I have to record something. All right, so now if we open up our automation screen, we can see that all those points are being recorded onto and over what we just recorded with MIDI. Um, so that's, that's working perfectly. Um, so you can do this for whatever you'd like on any instrument, uh, on any plugin, on any setting, and uh, you're good to go. And uh, this is just a, a very simple, easy way to doing it here inside of Logic Pro X. So if you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will be seeing you all very soon. Have a great day.